Hi, I'm LeVar Burton. Join me as we journey to some of the most corrosive places in America. From the Pacific to the Gulf of Mexico, no place is safe from the dangers of corrosion. We are heading from Hawaii to the coast of Texas so we can visit the sparkling city by the sea, Corpus Christi. Corpus Christi is known as one of the most premier tourist destinations in the state of Texas. We're renowned for our fishing and beach activities. We absolutely have problems with corrosion. It's an issue we tend to deal with on a fairly constant basis, mostly because we have wind speeds that seem to be 35 miles per hour every day. We also try to attack some of those elements by using alternate materials and methods of sealing. The historical sites in Corpus Christi are also exposed to these weather elements every day. We've tried to address those concerns by adding, again, additional materials such as resin and plaster uh, to complement the existing historic structures. Uh, one perfect example is the Coffini statue just behind me. Now let's check on the atmospheric conditions here in Texas at Coast Guard Air Station Corpus Christi. This air station became fully operational on October 15, 1980, but it suffers from continuous attacks by our dreaded enemy, corrosion. We've all heard the expression, location, location, location. Well, being directly on the ocean has its perks, but not when it comes to corrosion. Something as simple as moving only one quarter mile inland makes a huge difference when it comes to the severity. Since our air station is in such close proximity to the, uh, to the water, our corrosion is far more worse than being even 10 miles inland. So most of the types of forms we get is usually a uh, surface intergranular, which you know, it starts off out on the surface it uh, starts attacking in between the, the aluminum and most of the aircraft is aluminum, so it attacks that. And there are certain areas as far as like under decks, which will accumulate water exactly where I'm sitting right now. Sometimes we find bad corrosion, sometimes it's just moderately corroded. Water always finds a way in. We still have data collected, which shows the situation in Texas is pretty severe with a reading of 118,400. I'm LeVar Burton. Thanks for joining me on this journey through some of America's most corrosive places. And remember, rust never sleeps.